What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today we got an exciting video for you all. We got Nova versus Unity. So we have the, some of the best players from Nova facing off some of the best players from Unity. Two of the top three bands in the world and they're facing off in a best of five in Bounty. So it should be some exciting high stakes competitive gameplay. Now the only rules are that I chose the maps. It's going to be five different maps if it goes all five games and then after a team loses they ban a brawler and that a ban affects both teams and it lasts for the duration of the match so there's a maximum potential of four bans and if there's a draw both teams replay that map um, but they can change their brawlers now of course the ban's still affected now you guys may also notice i got a new overlay up so let me know what you think uh, i think i'm gonna still try and Add some more stuff to it. I also got a green screen behind me, so I got a uh, background up. I want to change that too, but this is my first one. All right, so the match started, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're watching from Unity's perspective, and on Team Unity is Crying Man, Big Dupin, and Durak, aka Simon. So it looks like we got a Rico, a Brock, and I believe a Piper on Team Unity, and maybe the same thing on uh, Team Nova. Team Nova gets the first kill. They have control of the middle. I'm assuming they have a Ricochet on the right side, but it could be a Colt. Um, it might be even a different Brawler. Brock got ult. I'm expecting an ult right now. A great ult. Got two people. Finished them both off with both one hit. Team Nova with a clear lead right now with three kills so far. Unity got the middle star, but it's not a big deal just getting that middle star. Uh, we got Brock on Ricochet right now. Ricochet should be able to push him back. He's got the angle on Brock. Brock's going to have to go towards the middle and try and get some help from his teammates. He's going to crash on Big Dupin. Oh, good ult by Crying Man to take the five-star Brock from Team Nova. Now they're only down by one. Game one, definitely very close so far. And that is right. It is a Ricochet as the other brawler on Team Nova. So we got the same brawlers for both teams. Ricochet and Ricochet right now, it looks like Brock and Piper are facing off, so we got a bit of a mirror match going on, and I think Crying Man doesn't have the edge here, but, oh, Team uh, Unity took the lead for the first time of the match today. A one-point lead, I don't think Big Dupin has the most stars on Team Unity right now with four stars. We got a minute left. Let's see how aggressive people are. Sometimes this late in the game, people start getting pretty passive in Bounty, trying to make sure they don't get one of those last deaths, because sometimes at the end of Bounty, teams just start playing very passive at the end of games to make sure no one dies, because that's the only thing it's about. Oh, this they could be Hill. Eric is low. Oh, Team Unity with a three-star lead. Nova has to kill either Crying Man or Big Dupin to take the lead back right now. And this Ricochet is on the corner. Does have Super, but doesn't have a good angle to use it at the moment. Maybe the Piper, Eric, can snipe one of these two. Uh, one of those people. Oh, not quite. Looks like... Oh, Big Dupin with 12 health right now. Oh, no. Big Dupin down. Nova took the lead up too. But if Eric dies, that's a tie game. Oh, no. But Crying Man died as well. Tie game. Oh, Big Dupin got a kill to tie it up. Make it 18-18. But Direct just died. Two seconds left. One. Oh, 369 health on a five-star ricochet. Couldn't quite do it. Oh, man. Okay, so Nova won a closely contested Game 1, which is on Terracotta Square. So Game 2 is on Snake Prairie, and Unity decided to ban Bo. A good ban, considering the map. There's not going to be any brawlers that have a ton of sight, so we see Unity running Bull Crow, and I think, I'm not sure what the other, well, Ricochet. And it looks like Nova has a Crow, Ricochet, and Colt. So... Unity has a big melee brawler while Nova decided to stick with a bunch of range right now. A small lead to Nova, but it's very early. It looks like Unity honestly has pretty good positioning. They're in their spawn, able to get two kills while in the spawn. Crying Man with four stars right now as a bull. It'll be interesting to see how well the bull stays alive with so much range on team uh Nova's side, he might be able to get some good kills if he can get up close, but that's going to be the question. Ooh, he's got a lot of stars right now. He's definitely doing well. Nova or Unity has a five-star lead early on, though. If Crying Man dies, of course, the lead will be tied. 
a big super by the cult. It's going to be hard for the bull to advance on the right side now. There's no longer grass to cover him. He has to sneak up. And even now, they're probably you, or Nova's probably going to keep shooting down that left side just in case that bull comes. Ooh, he's able to hide pretty well so far, but now he's been discovered. And they're clearing away even more grass. It's going to be hard for the bull to get a lot of action right now, except if he supers in. But since he has so many stars, I'm going to suspect that he might not. And there we go. Oh, now he comes in after a kill, trying to finish off a low crow and is able to do that. Now he has to escape from a cult and ricochet firing at him. Ooh, he wasn't able to do so, but the uh, Nova or Unity was able to get a kill as a result of that push from Nova. So Unity with just a three star lead with almost 30 seconds left. They're pinned in their spawn, but I think they're okay with it as they have the lead. None of them have their supers, and it looks like no one on the Nova side does either. So this is going to be a very close end of the game. I think there's going to be a lot of pushing, but not maybe a lot of action. Crow, very low, has three stars. That would tie the game, but Nova's Crow just died as well. A, only a two-star lead for Unity right now. Two members on the team with low health that would tie up or win the game for Nova, but they also have a low Crow. Oh... Crying Man able to maybe get a kill. Dirac also low. Oh, but two quick kills from Unity at the end of the game to tie it up one to one. All right, so it's all tied up one to one for both teams. The third match is going to be on, I believe, Star Gulch. And this time, Nova banned. So Bo was already banned, and Nova decided to ban Crow, a very strong brawler. The Bo ban was definitely good for Snake Prey. It seemed like it worked for Unity, but I'm not sure it's going to be great for other maps. But for now, we see Krogon, a very interesting ban, and we're seeing a Brock, a Barley, and a Piper for Team Unity. I'm interested that they chose to use a Barley. I feel like a lot of times on Star Ghost, a lot of those barriers get destroyed. So the Barley might be effective early on, but I'm not sure how it's going to do late game. We're seeing a very traditional bounty comp from Team Unity with a Piper, a Ricochet, and a Brock. And of course, the Piper is on the right side like normal for an enemy. Piper able to use that back wall to take some bounce shots, but the Ricochet wasn't able to escape. Did I say Piper instead of Ricochet? I meant the Ricochet on the right side. Oh, Crying Man low already again, but Team Unity has a two-star lead. No, one-star deficit. A very close match. We're seeing one barrier destroyed already. And it looks like, again, the Barley just died. I think it's going to be a very hard game for this Barley for most of the match. Oh, we see a six-star lead for Team Nova. And here we go. The Barley is trying to use that wall, but the Ricochet also uses the wall very well. So not much of an advantage for either. I think, yep, that Ricochet did die, but the Barley not able to get much cover. Not a lot of range. Oh, a missed super from Big Dupin, the Brock on Team Unity. He took a couple shots, but he wasn't able to get much. And it, I'm not sure if he destroyed that bear or if it was uh, someone on Team Nova who destroyed that bear. We see two barriers gone now. A very close game. Unity down one with 40 seconds to go. If they can kill that Brock, they'll have a three-star lead. That looks like who they're gunning for at the moment. We have a super available by... The Barley on Team Unity. I think this will be a good chance to push them back. I wouldn't be surprised if they get a lot of damage here and can take this. Even though they're down now, they got three star lead. Oh, but now they're down one. Krong Man just died. A lot of those people on the left are low, but they gotta finish him off or it doesn't matter. Big Dupin, can he get some hits? 15 seconds, plenty of time. Unity up by one now. Oh, up by three. If Krong Man dies, it's a tie game. If Big Dupin dies, Oh, Direct died. also had three stars. Tie game. Three seconds left. I think they're going to tie this up potentially. Oh, one. Oh, so we got to draw. So we have to redo this map. Same bands. They can change brawlers. Okay, so we're on game four, but it's one to one because there was a draw. Right now we have Bow Band and we have Crow Band. Oh, we're seeing another interesting comp from Team Unity using an El Primo. I really disagree with this choice. I think, again, El Primo is going to struggle. But, who knows what can happen. I think we're seeing the same comp out of Team Nova. And, ooh, this might be a clear early lead. Yep, Team Wipe for Nova. So they have a five-star lead. Unity got the middle star, but that's just a one star. 
and they don't have any of their supers. It doesn't seem like Unity is able to hit their shots right now at the start. Of course, there's plenty of time left in the game. It's only a seven star lead. You get some of those kills, you can get it back. For instance, here's six stars from the Brock. There you go. Now it's only a one star game and this Piper is low as well. Yep, it looks like he was able to get away from Crying Man. So um, they're seeing one of these barriers destroyed, but let's see how well this El Primo does once this final barrier is destroyed. Basically all the barriers are gone almost. And it's not mattering at the moment. It looks like the Brock and Piper on Team Unity are getting a lot of kills for them. They're definitely putting in a lot of work. I'm not seeing any damage from the El Primo so far. And El Primo on the Rickshaw is definitely going to be a tough matchup. Ooh, he caught up to him though. It looks like he's able to catch him. And now he's got away. He doesn't have a super. It's He really needs to get his super again. Or just once at least. So then he can jump back in. Right now he sort of has to rely on dodging shots just to be able to get close. If he can get his super, then he can just jump in and not have to dodge as many shots. Ooh, a good snipe from Game Crasher to take out the Piper for Team Unity. Only a two-star game with 50 seconds left. Another close game. They, these all have been very close games. Unity with a four-star lead, though, with 40 seconds left. I think Unity might play it safe. It looks like they're already in their spawn, but they did get pressured back a bit. If they can finish off this Piper, they have an even bigger lead. Crying Man is definitely hitting his shots right now. He's getting a lot of damage, but he's not able to finish people off. He really needs to get a, one or two more kills just to be safe. I think Big Dupin has four stars, so if he dies, it's a tie game. Crying Man died, so it's only a one-star game right now with 18 seconds left. This El Primo's not able to do much. He's only pretty much going to be a meat shield for his teammates at this point, unless you, or Nova gets very aggressive. Oh, a missed super by Game Crasher. Oh, I think they might be able to finish off one of these players uh, for Team Nova, but Big Dupin has four stars right in front. Oh, wasn't able to finish off Big Dupin, who, if they had killed him, that would have won Nova the game. So right now, Unity up 2-1. to one. Okay, so going up into game number 5 with Unity having a 2-1 to one lead, we're on the map Outlaw Camp. This is technically game number 4 since there was a draw, even though it is the 5th game. We have Bow Band, we have Crow Band, and Team Nova banned Bull for this game. And right now it looks like they took the middle. It seems like one of their players was not able to play at the start of the game. I'm not sure what happened there, if there was a bit of lag or what. But we see um, a Primo, a Piper, and a Ricochet on Team Unity. And a Barley, a Brock, and a Ricochet on Team Nova. So both of them have a Ricochet, but otherwise they're different comps. So it's interesting to see how this turns out. Whether how much of it the team comp is going to matter. Right now, Nova putting on the pressure... We're going to need to see some ults out of uh, Team Unity. Oh, able to catch the Ricochet, maybe not quite a missed super by Big Dupin. Looks like this Barley is getting a lot of damage on Team No. Already seeing two supers. Definitely putting a lot of pressure on. Um, it doesn't seem like no, uh, Team Unity is able to do much at the moment. I'm not seeing many hits. They got one kill. It looks like they killed someone who either had one kill or took them. Uh, or Nova took them. Unity took the middle star. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it looks like they could kill the Barley. That's one kill right there. Only down by three. Um, let's see again if this Primo can do that much. I definitely think this is a decent map for Primo, though. A lot more bushes on this map compared to some of the others. Able to sneak up on people. Once he can get his super, he's going to be able to jump in. Pressure a lot of kills. He can also hide behind a lot of these walls. Nova starting to open it up. The Brock ulted and cleared a lot of that middle grass and some of those walls. Uh, at the same time, their, their Barley might have liked some of those walls to hide behind, but there's still a good amount for him to use. Big Dupin able to escape with 100 health from the Brock. Crying Man also low health as well, but tied up game. Nova takes the middle of the map. Let's see if this El Primo can come in unnoticed or not. Crying Man does die. Primo trying to sneak up on Team Nova, but currently he's being stymied by the Barley and the Brock. It looks like the Ricochet is firing a lot down the middle. They're taking a lot of blind shots, but this is how t uh, Outlaw Camp is sometime. I'm not sure what Crying Man was trying to do there. I guess he was trying to clear away some of the bushes, but no one's in the middle anymore. They all backed up at this point. Ten seconds left. Down by five, Team Nova trying to tie it up. If they win this game, it'll be a 2-2 game. And that is what it looks like it's going to be. 17-12, Nova wins. It's 2-2 into the final game. Okay, the final game. It's all tied up 2-2 two to two versus Unity versus Nova. Best of five and Bounty. Who will win this final game on Temple Ruins? So far, we have Bowband, we have Crowband, we have Bullband. In this past game, 
Team Unity Band Piper, one of the best brawlers in Bounty, no question. Let's see what team comps we have. Looks like we have a Brock and a Colt on Team Unity, and then a Brock and a Colt on Team Nova as well. I wonder if both teams have a Ricochet, or what is their final brawler? Ricochet is definitely very strong in this map. You could see a thrower as well, a Ricochet for Team Unity. And there's the Ricochet for Team Nova as well. So mirror comps for the final game of the best of five definitely uh, seems fitting in my opinion. The final game definitely going to come down to who plays this last game better with the same comp. It's not going to matter as far as team comp or advantage in that regard. Looks like Nova has a small lead early, but there's still plenty of time. We're seeing some of the walls for Team Unity are getting destroyed. They don't have as much cover. Oh, can they get four stars down? Killed from Team Unity, a good ult by the Brock on Team Nova. A uh, small lead early, but they can definitely get it back. I think there's a Brock on Team Nova that has a lot of stars. If Team Unity can kill that Brock, they're going to quickly catch up. That's all they have to do right now for the most part. A lot of times in Bounty, that's what it takes is focusing on the person who has the most stars. I know sometimes you just want to get kills, but sometimes you just got to focus on a particular kill. A lot of these, not all kills are worth the same thing after all. So right now we're seeing... A good lead for Team Nova early on a minute left oh man but I'm seeing we need to get a little more supers oh a trade oh another kill for Team Nova or unity oh this could get the lead for Team Unity oh unity took the lead for the first time today a one-star lead with 40 seconds left tied it up we're seeing a lot of the cover destroyed there's usually a good amount of cover on temple ruins a decent amount of grass and a decent amount of wall so a lot of places to hide we're seeing Two comps that destroy walls. We got a Colt and a Brock on both sides, and both of them are using their ults a lot. A tie game, 30 seconds left. Here comes an ultimate from Brock. Oh, and an ultimate from Ricochet as well. Doesn't look like either of them connected very much. We'll see if this Brock ult gets to be successful. Oh, right on the enemy, Brock. So, Nova, Unity takes a two-star lead. Oh, but a four-star kill for Team Nova with 10 seconds left to go. Nova up by four. Another kill for Team Nova up by six. It's up to Crying Man. He's to get one shot and an ult. Can he get the one shot and an ult? One shot ult. Not enough time. So, Team Nova wins three to two versus Team Unity. What a great series. A draw as well. Went six games. Amazing competitors on both teams. Very well played. All right, guys. So that was the best of five of Unity versus Nova in Bounty. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later.